Welcome to Automation with Ansible. Friends, this is a lab session in which we are going to understand how to create a role for Apache Web Server. The example which I have taken here, the installation of Apache Web Server using roles. If roles are not there, not there, then we have to create a simple playbook for that. So let's understand what would be the playbook and then we'll create a role for that. So simple playbook, you can see if there is no role, then we have to create a simple playbook in which we have to specify different tasks like the installation of HTTPD package. Okay. And then I have to copy some configuration file like your HTTP dot HTTP configuration file. Also, you have to copy the index file for that. You can see I have created the task. Okay. And then I have to restart the services for that. I have just simply use the handler and then at last start and enable the HTTP service. And at the last, you can see the handler, what which I have used in the playbook. For that, I have created a simple handler. So this is what your playbook looks like. If you are going to do the installation of Apache Web Server on your client machine, suppose you have to do the same exercise in an organized way. Then you have to go with the roles. So we'll understand how we can do the same exercise with the help of role. How we can make it organized. So whatever the directories we have discussed in the last lecture, we'll understand how we can put each task, which task we can put on which directory. So let's start. So very first thing I would be, you know, going for the task that is in your roles. So I'm here. So first of all, the command is to create the role, which we have already done. Let me do it again. So the command is Ansible hyphen galaxy and it is for to initialize and I'm going to create a role. The name of the role is Apache and I make it offline. After that, what will happen? A directory will be created. Now you can see that a directory has been created with a lot of directories are with a lot of subdirectories are there. If I fire the tree, you can see it looks like that. Now I have to do the installation of Apache web server. Okay. So first main configuration file that is in your task. So I have to go into this. Okay. This is the main configuration file. Okay. The first thing what, what I need to do, I have to do the installation of HTTP package on my client machine. So how we can do it. So for that, uh, let me do one thing. Let me create one entry in my main configuration file. So this is my main configuration file, which is almost empty. Nothing is there. I'm putting this entry hyphen import task install dot YML. So it will look for this file into this location. Okay. So you can create the complete playbook here as well but I am making it more organized. So what I'm doing, I'm creating a different, different file for different tasks. So this install.yml, what will happen in this file? I would be putting commands for the installation of your HTTP package. It's very simple. So you have to use import underscore task here. Simple. I have put this entry. So I'm in this location and this is what the entry I have done it. Okay. So what will happen when you run this uh, role? It will look for install.yml in this location, which is not created yet. So now I have to create this install.yml. It's very simple. It always start with three dashes dash name. What it is a installation of HTTPD package. Okay. For that, I am using yum command yum name as equal to httpd and the state should be the latest. So this is the simple playbook. Okay. You can say which can be used to do the installation of my httpd. Okay. Just save out and commit. Next is to, I have to copy some file as well. So for that uh, I'm using a file configured at YML. So I'm again going here first task which I have done it just for the installation of my HTTP. The second is configuration. Configuration like 
suppose you have your own HTTP configuration file and you want the same file should be copied to the client machine then you can copy the file from this to your client machine okay and also if you have your index.html file you can also copy there okay okay so this is what I have put here okay now I have to configure this file put the entries in this so as of now two entries in my this file you can see now I have to configure this configure dot file so I'm just putting copy my index dot HTML file from where it will copy I know that there is a directory file if you remember there was a directory file it is in the role directory like etc ansible roles apache I will show you so I have to put this my index.html there okay so what will happen the source file it will look for the files files it is in the etc ansible etc ansible roles apache there is a directory roles I will show you and where it will copy it will copy to this location okay and one more thing I want after the copying of my HTML index.html file it will restart the Apache service as well so for that I would be using handler here so notify simple the name of my handler I can put anything here I am putting restart Apache okay for that I would be creating a handler as well and I have to put the source file as well so this is what I have done here now you can see my configure is there okay now I have to put this file index.html so I am in this location if you go a step back and if you fire the command ls-ltr you can see a directory is there file now here I have to create the index.html so it's a simple website so I am just creating this is my first website just for checking roles in Ansible just for testing purpose I am doing okay so this would be my website I am putting okay so I have put my index.html as well okay the next thing is that service I have to start and enable the service as well how we can do it again I have to go to this location task okay the two things I have done it in my main configuration file this is install the Apache services after that it will copy my index file as well now I have to start and enable my service so for that again I am going to this and I am again use another task that would be imported from here import underscore task and that would be I can put any name service dot yml okay so this is what I have created again I am creating this file service now I have to create this file service dot yml start and enable my enable httpd service okay this is what the message will come service I'm using a module service here name httpd state I want it should be restarted and enabled enabled means it will be enabled once you reboot the server your server will come up with http service so this is what the entry I have put it for there so everything we have done it the next thing is that we have to create the handler here we have put if you remember in the configure file I have put after you know copying this file it will restart the service as well so I have to create the handlers so for handler I have to go to this location I am in this location I have to go to handlers okay simple in the main configuration file I have to put the entry let me tell you how to do this is name the same name which you have specified that restart apache so whatever the name you are using that you need to put the same what it will do service 
name as ttpd state is equal to restarted so this is what it will do okay so whenever it require the service needs to start it so instead of you know instead of going re, instead of creating the task again same task again again you can simply use the handler so this is what the function of the handler so the name the same name restart handler i have to use in the main dot configure dot yml so here you can see restart apache let me recheck it again okay i am again going to this location task and configure restart apache is the same which i have used for my handler so this is what i have done it now the next is your meta so i have to edit the meta as well so meta is just for putting the information like who is the author and description license everything you can put it in this file there would be file meta you can see a lot of entries are already there you can put your name description i can put testing of role using apache web server configuration okay and my company name i am just putting udemy.com here this is what i have done it so main meta is only for the roles who has created the roles the author description okay after that just saving it up i'm here so what i have done i have just created my main configuration file and in the main configuration file if you will see i have further divided into three more files like for the installation of yml configure and service and after that i have used some handlers and i am also copying my index.html to my destination so this is what the role i have created in the next what i need to do i have to create a simple playbook and in the playbook i will call this role okay so friend this that's all for this lecture in the next lecture i am going to create a simple playbook and in the playbook i will call this role so that's all for this lecture and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture thanks for watching